Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create your first rule in Jira software. So you can create rule at the global level and the project level. And we have already understood that in the first tutorial. So if you want to create a rule at the global level, you need to have the Jira administrator permissions. Now in terms of rule creation and all of those steps are going to remain absolutely same, whether you are doing it at the project level or global level, that's not not going to change okay so let's quickly go to a project and then build our first rule or automation within the project so here I have this RCV uh, classic scrum project let's go there and you need to be a project administrator so go to the project settings and once you will go to the project settings you will get the automation option or link to click so here we have this automation okay so I'll simply click on the automation and now you will see that automation page has open so we have the library audit log and rules etc okay so now let's quickly create a first rule from scratch so to create a rule simply click on create rule and as we learn the first thing is we have to define the trigger okay so what is the trigger what are the what what will trigger this particular rule whether issue got created issue moved from one state to other another state there is some comment that has been made on the issue right so these are some of the triggers that you can specify so you will see that uh, there are triggers field value changed issue assigned issue comment edited right issue commented or issue created right so let's quickly go ahead and click on the issue created so once the issue is created and if say for example the issue created is having the highest priority then do something okay so or if the issue created is of the critical or the blocker then assign it to the project manager directly okay so that we can define so we have selected issue created yes that's fine we'll simply go ahead and save it okay now the next thing is we can define the condition okay so we can say yes new condition all right so in the condition what condition needs to be checked when the issue is created right that is what the condition is so if say for you can use here if else block you can use all other the jql conditions you can see all the different conditions are available in the component section right so here you will see that issue field condition is kind of a popular one that is very used right so here what we are trying to build is we are trying to build a rule wherein if the issue is created and the issue priority is critical or very high then in that case assign it to the project manager whosoever is the project manager okay so we'll simply say issue field condition if the say for example the priority okay so if priority is one of the or basically equals right so you can specify the multiple priorities as well right so if you say is one of okay then you can select multiple values from the drop down okay but if you just want to say that the priority should be only highest okay then you simply select equals right so it will check for the priority when the issue is created and if the priority is highest then you can specify the actual action what needs to happen in that case right so issue will cre get created it will check that the priority if the priority is highest then what action needs to be taken right so you can specify the action now okay so this is very basic and simple rule so what action now i want to assign this to the project manager whosoever is the project manager so i will simply search for here you will see that assign issue right so this is there so i'll simply say action assign issue and i'll specify the say for example the project manager is someone here so let me see if i have got some user okay we'll say specify user and then select the user whom we want to assign so say for example kareem is the project manager right so simply choose the specific user from the drop down select the user and save this particular action okay so we have defined the trigger the condition and the action very simple rule okay and then you have to specify who can edit this rule okay so if you do not want everyone else to edit this rule you can simply keep it private only i can edit this rule or if you want all the admins in the project to have the edit permission you can simply leave it to as all admins okay and if i'll say turn it on right oh sorry i have to provide the name there so i'll simply say assign all highest priority issues to 
pm okay so if so for example something like that this is the rule that we have built so simply turn it on and you will see your automation has been turned on is successful okay now this automation is enabled this rule is enabled assign all highest priority issues to pm now let's quickly go ahead and create two issues one with the lower priority and one with the highest priority and see the differences so i'll click on this plus sign there and simply because we are in the project already so rcv classic scrum is selected now i'll say test automation rule one okay so it's of a type story and then let's say the priority section and we'll keep the priority as highest okay and simply create it i'll make sure that i check this create another issue so that this window is still open so you'll see one issue got created i'll open this okay and because i selected the issue priority as highest now this issue that got created should be assigned to the project manager that i have chosen into the rule okay now let me create another one and i'll say test automation rule to this is another issue and for this one i leave the priority as say for example medium okay and create that and you will see that i'll open this issue and here you will see the assignee is the person who is the project manager right so the rule is acting uh, perfectly fine rule is basically working as expected and this particular issue the number two issue let's go to that particular issue and it should be assigned to the default assignee right so by default no one was assigned so this issue is unassigned in this particular case right so in this tutorial what we have seen is we have seen how to create a very very simple rule in jira software okay this is cloud version so in the server or the data center version steps will more or less will be kind of same and then also test that particular rule that it's working perfectly fine for this particular project because this is the project rule that we have created right and now if you want to see what all rules are there in my project so simply go to the automation section i'll go to the automation section here or go to project settings go back and then we'll come back and you'll see the list of the rules should show me this new rule that we have created and show as an active if i go to automation and you'll see the project rule assign all highest priority issues to pm is here this is what we created and it's actually enabled okay if i want to disable this rule i can i simply need to press this toggle button and that's it okay so it's as simple it's this simple to basically create your first rule in jira software and apply it to your project so that's the starting point there is a lot more that will come in this series so stay tuned i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching